Hey, what is up, everybody? This is No One Shot coming back to you with another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, we're going to talk about territory captures. Today, we got a whole host of new missions, and we have events that give us the particles that we need to advance in research. Kinda. So, we got a whole host of new missions through our chest tab, which I already finished. So, you would click here, go to your chest tab, grab the chest, start your mission, do your mission. Once you're done with your mission, you go. You can go to up here to the top of the area to no, New Doriza. There is a mission that you can grab from this planet when you're in it. It auto completes when it's done. And there's another one in beta assembly or two actually. So you would grab this one. You finish it as soon as you get it. And then you get another one and you finish it as soon as you get it. That's where I'm at in this territory capture mission tree, whatever you want to call it. I'm not even sure what what it was it was just a quick one it was easy to do but the thing that most players are wondering about is when well, all the way down to that is territory capture exclusive if the game didn't throw me to the end so territory capture exclusive so i didn't read this at first i'm like oh, okay i can mine in this system the system the system <laughs> reading is key reading is key so if you look at them it says territory mining and a relevant system to these two and I thought this meant uh, you one and two. Cool, I can do that quickly. That's not how it was. So you have to go down the list. So it says control territories with your alliance to gain access to exclusive mining nodes. Mining anything within these systems listed below to complete this event and earn Surix necessary for territory research. So it gives you a whole list of them like Pyram, Elza, Remy, Tigan, da da da. It gives you those ones. So you have to be in those systems to mine. Then we hop on over to the Phantom Particles, which is the one I was able to finish because it was in Eyeless. And it's the same thing, you just gotta mine a hundred of them. It's a really easy one as long as you own the systems. You can't mine them if you don't own the systems. I wish you could say, hey, you get this alliance can have access to do a quick mine in our system, and there you go. So you have these ones. I don't know. I know they're gonna be they'll probably be popping up as days go by. Hopefully they rotate so it's not gonna be the same ones over and over again. Because there's only a few options that you could do for this is fight for the systems to take them over or you can swap do a quick swap in that alliance go into the alliance go do the mission quickly i'm not sure if it'll go into it but it just seems like scopely wants us to actually fight for these systems to cause more controversy in the game to overwhelm each other and attack each other which most Alliances have already had their preset borders, preset what they want, or they're moving in a general direction they want to go in. Like, if we click here, zoom out. So, like my alliance, we have Thaws, which is up here, which gives us a click here, click here, which is a cool one for me is component research. It gives you 30% off your base components of, I don't know, a list steel, but titanium to lithium, which helps for each player in your alliance. Then we go down to Eyeless, click on Eyeless. It gives us crystal mining, which I think is kind of deceiving because I remember the, when they originally told us if it didn't state that it was only effective in territories, then you could use it outside the territories, which that's not the case. It only is effective within your territories. This is, it says 40% uh, base crystal mining to all your ships. It doesn't state territories. It doesn't state anything, it just says to all your ships. So it should be reflective outside your territory, which it isn't. It's kind of deceiving on that one. And then we go down to, we got Deportis. So if we look at Deportis. This one's kind of good. It's 80% to accuracy, shield piercing, armor, blah, blah, blah. It's off your base, but bases can be spotty. It helps, but it's not great because you got to think about all your research on top of it. And then we go down to Bertho. We got Bertho, which is going to be a defense platform, which just helps your defense platforms when you attack. So if you like seeing the shields down, yeah, it works, but it doesn't do much. And we go down to my favorites, Barrel and Gamma. Barrel and Gamma is spot on one of my favorites because it's an officer enhancer. So 35% to officer health and blah, blah, blah. That's spot on amazing. And then we didn't know you had to activate this one as soon as that you started. So you have that one too. So that's one of the one things we learned. So this is the little preset area we have. And we're still debating on what direction we're going to go. Even though this kind of looks like an overgrown toilet. As you see, most alliances have their systems. So you have us right here. 
You have Borg stretching on the bottom end. You have Jess stretching up to the top. You have VCF taking this little corner right here. You have King right here. These are alliances in my server. So it's just where people are spreading out. People are fighting for territory no matter what. But to have that incentive in there saying, hey, if you don't have these territories, you ain't getting these particles. It should be something that's along the line that's a little more conducive to it. Say like, okay, you own a T1, go mine there. Okay, you own a T2, go mine there. Oh, you own a T3, go mine there for each of these particles. So you're not spreading out to be like, hey, I gotta attack this guy, or I gotta attack this guy to get this specific system, or this one to get this specific one. It, it just doesn't make any sense. It just, to me, it doesn't, but scopely, it might make a general sense of purpose of like, hey, we want the players to tag each other, da, da, da. but even though a lot of these players have said, hey, we're not a big fan of PvP. We're not a big fan of this. There's a lot of players out there like that. They just are PvE related. These whole territory captures have caused waves in servers of alliance alliances fighting each other, teams fighting each other, and stuff. We've had several alliances cause or have issues with direction my alliance is going and it caused waves with another alliance because we went full board toward one that they're heading for we had our plans they had our plans and communication is key which neither one of us had it happens and we took the territory and that's how it went it's causing waves and alliances waves and friendships it's territory captures is waning on a lot of people and their nerves and everything. Yeah, it's a cool idea. It's an awesome one that you can get specific services, specific materials through these territories, or you can get certain things through territories, which is awesome. But these particles shouldn't be limited to one side of the tree. Upside about these particles is it helps people that didn't pay for the $100 tier two pack get fresh into the first part of this, which is gonna be, I think, the ship efficiency, which isn't the greatest, the top tree. And once you pass the efficiency, gets better. For me, I gotta wait for another set so I could start down this line right here, which I I might not even go down the line right away. I might just skip this side of it and just still focus on Explorer Warfare because most of my ships are explorers. So hopefully I'll get another set of Phantom Particles tomorrow. So I can start my next part of the Explorer Warfare, which is more damage, which is good. Even though I want the other three particles to focus mainly on my Explorer research. It's just, Territory capture has been fun. There's been a massive lag spike. There's been massive fights. Each way we went down from those, we, I got this in the last minute. So if you see a territory coming up, no one's fighting for it. Just wait till that last second, hit the take, put a ship in the system, you win it, no fight needed. So that's how I got the system. And then we went, we fought for Aelis, which is a five battle of five different alliances versus us, which we pulled through. Same with the Portis, five alliances versus us which we pulled through. Bertho wasn't much of one. This alliance came in to try to take it, but my guy sniped him out as soon before the event started. We sat there and it was just a no brainer. And this one was an easier one than all the ones we've had. So it's been fights, the fights, the fights, get stuff in this. It's been enjoyable. It's waned on my resources. So we go to my resources my 8 million crit or 8 million uh steel and then there's my leftover crit and there's my leftover dill if we go down to my speed ups i had if we go down to the bottom right here at one point i had 10,000 30 minute speed ups at the start of this territory capture and now i'm down to 5,800 guess i gotta start doing more of my dailies to re-up the stash because my ships take like about 30 per each one to repair them it's just one of those ones that they need to add more incentive to the game. I'm glad they're doing events like we've got another ice in your mining. I know mining sucks, mining sucks. But remember, this is all depend on your level, of course. So uh, my ops level, base one gives me four million trip. Cool. Next one gives me six. Nice. Next one gives me 10. Cool. This one gives me 20. Awesome. That's what I need to catch back up with these wars, these constant, constant ones going on. And then as you see, I haven't really done much of the missions yet. I still ha I have them, but I haven't really done them. Um, we're second place in this one. I'm really not understanding it because it says refine, refine it, cool. And it says spend it, okay, that's understandable. And then do the refines there. But you look at some of the lines, is there, we're at, someone has a 300 point lead on us. 
I'm wondering how he got this far up. Did he buy that many packs? How, how did he do it? I don't understand unless he just did a lot of research. I'm sorry, I'm just going wide and everything. I'm going to show you where I'm at in this. I didn't buy any packs on this one besides the battle pass. I have one, two, three, four more to go. All right, guys. This is a video that was everywhere. They were talking about everything that was currently in this territory capture. It's a long 10 minute video. Remember, guys, to hit that like, that subscribe button, that bell notification down below. Remember to become a member. Go down to the bottom, hit join. It's either two, five, 10, or 20 bucks a month. That helps this channel out greatly if you want to help support it. There's another one down there, a donation. If you want to donate directly to me, cool, thank you. There is a Discord. Come join the Discord, become awesome, like the rest of the people in there. And that's about it. Besides that, my Xbox One died. Sad, sad day. I had to pick up a bow. Series S above retail. Ouch. All right, guys. It's No One Shot signing out. Peace.